In the previous lecture, we defined the first law of thermodynamics and we said that the change in internal energy of our closed system is equal to Q net plus W net, where Q net is the amount of energy transferred as a result of a difference in temperature and the W net is the amount of work that is done on our object or by our object. Now note this equation only holds as long as our closed system is not in motion and has no potential energy. If our closed system is in motion and it has potential energy, then that means this equation becomes the following equation. The change in kinetic energy of our moving closed system plus the change in potential energy plus the change in internal energy of our system is equal to the total amount of energy that flows in or out of our system given by Q net plus W net. So this is the extended version of the first law of thermodynamics and it works for a closed system in motion. So let's look at the following example. Suppose a 5 gram bullet travels along a horizontal axis with a velocity of 300 meters per second, enters a stationary wooden object and exits the other end with a velocity of 200 meters per second. How much energy is transferred? So let's suppose that we choose our bullet object as our system. So we have the bullet that is traveling along a horizontal axis. The initial velocity is 300 meters per second and the final velocity is 200 meters per second. So let's look at the following equation. So because our object is in motion, that means that we have to use this equation. Now, because the object is on the same horizontal level in the beginning and at the end, that means that our change in gravitational potential energy is zero joules. Now notice because the surroundings and our bullet object system are at the same exact temperature because we make that assumption that means no energy is transferred as a result of heat and also because no outside forces are acting on our bullet object system that means the W net must be zero as well. So we're going to look at the change in kinetic energy and the change in internal energy of our system. So notice our bullet loses velocity. Where does that velocity go? Well, from this equation, we see that velocity that is lost, the kinetic energy that is lost, is transferred into the internal energy of the bullet and the object system. So, we have the following equation. The change in kinetic energy plus the change in internal energy is equal to zero. So whatever energy our bullet loses, that energy goes into increasing the internal energy of the bullet and the block as the bullet travels through the block, through the object. So we rearrange our equation and we see that the change in kinetic energy is equal to the negative of the internal energy. So that basically means that whatever uh, the bullet loses in kinetic energy, that energy is gained by the internal energy of our bullet block system. So let's find the change in kinetic energy. So we essentially have one half multiplied by the mass given in kilograms multiplied by the square of the velocity. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.005 kilograms multiplied by the square of 300 meters per second minus one half times 0 0.005 
kilograms multiplied by the square of 200 meters per second and that gives us 125 joules so that implies that the bullet loses 125 joules of energy and it loses it in the form of kinetic energy and that energy is gained by the internal energy of the block and the bullet system so that energy transfers from kinetic energy to internal energy of our block bullet system.